one serviceman was fatally wounded in a shootout on the Armenia-Azerbaijan border, near the village of Yerasch, on July 14th. The gunfight between Armenian and Azerbaijani forces occurred at around 10.30 a.m. on the border of the region of Ararat and the Azerbaijani exclave of Nakhijevan. According to the Armenian Defense Ministry, Azerbaijani forces were attempting to carry out fortification works using heavy equipment and were advancing their military positions. The Armenian side then carried out counteractions aimed at stopping these works, which resulted in Azerbaijani servicemen opening fire towards Armenian positions. Private Samvel Alaverdian, born in 1983, received a fatal gunshot wound and later passed away. According to the ministry, the Azerbaijani side also experienced losses. In other news, acting Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan has held phone talks with US Secretary of State Anthony Blinken. Blinken congratulated Pashinyan on his election victory, adding that the US is ready to assist Armenia with reforms, particularly in the judicial and anti-corruption spheres. Pashinyan in his part thanked the US for its assistance in securing the release of 15 POWs, as well as in setting up the new police patrol service which he stated will be expanded around the country. Blinken furthermore stated that the US will continue its efforts to secure the release of remaining Armenian POWs being held in Baku and called for a resumption of peace talks under the auspices of the OSC Minsk Group co-chairs. An acting Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan has relieved Armen Krikorian of his post of Secretary of the Security Council. Krikorian has now been appointed as the first Deputy Foreign Minister and the judges of Armenia's Constitutional Court have held a closed-door meeting to decide on the appeals of the 2021 election results. The hearings regarding the 2021 election have ended. The Constitutional Court will soon publicize its decision. The High Court was examining the applications fronted by four political forces, by former President Robert Kocharyan's Armenia Alliance, Artur Vanetsian's I Have Honor Alliance, and the Zartonk and Armenia Homeland Parties. And Anahid Gevorkyan is an Armenian from Vladivostok, Russia. While in Armenia's Arefshad village in the region of Ararat, she noticed that the music school was in a dire condition. Determined to ensure that the music students are learning in a dignified way, she gathered funds and along with her friends, regenerated the music hall. Sivonet's team went to see how things are going now for Anahit and the students in Arefshad. And finally, Armenia's Ministry of Health announced in May of this year that they would provide free AstraZeneca vaccines to foreigners. Mobile clinics were set up in the streets in Yerevan to make them easily accessible for tourists and visitors. Since then, Iranians have been crossing the border by the thousands for a chance to get a free vaccine in Armenia. Sivonets Ani Paitian went to Svartnot's airport and to the mobile vaccination clinics to find out what these Iranian tourists think.